Okay, we're picking this vlog up in Durham, North Carolina. We play Duke tomorrow at 2 o'clock on ESPN. So, as disappointing as uh, Tuesday was against Florida State, I think that just having an opportunity like this is a beautiful thing. And it's one of those that doesn't come around all that often, and so you just got to try as best you can to seize the moment, stay in the moment, and kind of forget about Tuesday and the struggles up to this point because this is one of those just big for our program and for our season. And so, and obviously for each individual too, it's the kind of stuff you dream about. And uh, yeah, man, it's a good opportunity for us. And that's all you can ask for. So uh, looking forward to tomorrow, obviously. Until then, we got meeting at five and then we're going, going to go over to the arena to shoot at about six. So we're going to catch y'all the rest of the day and then obviously leading in the model too. Let's do it. Peace. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. taking coffee <laughs> for him. <laughs> Lockton is questionable for tomorrow's game because of an attempt at East Bay. Attempt East Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot make it through this. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, this is America, tuning in. Trying to find a headband and a wristband. <laughs> it's really kind of you to assume America's tuning into these. Thank you for that. Of course. <laughs> well, we got the wristbands. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're checking back in. It's about 12 o'clock right now. The game's at 2, and it's a beautiful day out, like 70 degrees down here. I'm trying to take in some of that, just walking a little bit. We got a nice trail by our hotel. Honestly, I will say beautiful campus. I kind of got it going on, but uh, looking forward to today, man. Obviously, playing at Cameron Indoor, one of the things you dream about as a kid. 
And so, regardless of how everything's gone up to this point, I think that we see it as a new day, new opportunity, um, and you only get so many. So I think we'd be doing ourselves a disservice if we didn't go out there and leave everything on the court. So that's what I'm gonna try to do individually. I think we're all on the same page. So looking forward to it, man. I mean, obviously I've had individual struggles up to this point, um, and I'm proud of myself for keeping my head down and just coming to work every day because you don't know when things will turn for you. So I'll probably touch more on that in the outro, but yeah, man, looking forward to it. So if I don't talk again before the game, let's go get one and I'll catch y'all after. Peace. is just in time. Basketball even more special. Join us at the Champions Club and can't win the night before the upcoming Virginia. for the Duke game 
We're like two to three days removed now. I'm actually in the middle of watching The Bachelor. So I'm going to try to make this quick so I can get back to that. Priorities here. But uh, there's just a couple things I want to touch on, I think. Obviously, the game did not go. The end result wasn't what we had hoped, obviously, because at this point, we're 4-8 and eight in the ACC, and there's no time for moral victories, especially team-wise. So I guess I'll just touch on that first. Like Cameron Indoor Stadium, definitely one of the coolest environments to play in and probably one of the hardest places to win in the country. And no matter what video you see or which games you watch on TV, like it'll never do justice what it actually feels like to play in there. Because I remember walking into the locker room at halftime and my ears were ringing and... Yeah, I don't know. I think that just obviously speaks to what Duke basketball is and has been for lots of lots of years now. And so it was cool to be a part of that environment. Obviously, it would have been cooler to win in that environment, but it doesn't take away from like what I'll tell my kids someday, you know, about what, what it meant to play kind of in that game and in that environment because I think that is it's kind of what dreams are made of when you're little and dreaming about playing in that situation. So it's honestly everything I had would have hoped it would be in more. Um, and I guess that leads me into like just me touching on the individual piece of this and maybe kind of the elephant in the room. The fact that like I started and played 35 minutes. I didn't necessarily know it was going to go that way, but I think that's where like the lessons to be learned kind of come into play because for those of you that have know tuned in since the beginning like it hasn't been smooth sailing for me this year and I think for the longest time like I wasn't getting the opportunity that I felt like I deserved but it didn't change the way that I went about my business and I think that's the most important thing for any young hooper to take honestly like anyone in general Um, and it's something I try to remind myself of every day because it's easy to sit here and talk about and it's really hard to put into action and it's hard to come in on the days, the days after you don't play, after you play five minutes against NC State or and against Wake, whatever it is, when you feel like you could help positively impact the game and you're not given the opportunity that you feel like you deserve, the easy thing to do is let people know you're mad about it. And I've touched on this before, but I guess my point is that if you go about your business the right way, things will work out and you don't know exactly when that'll happen. And for me, it just happened to happen this weekend, I guess. And obviously that didn't result in a win for our team, but I think it resulted in good things for me on an individual level. And to come out, have the first like nine of 11, get up on that rim for the third time in my college career. Um, And finish the game with 15, like at Cameron Indoor. That's the type of stuff where like it makes it worth it. The fact that I come in every day and I'm not going to waver from who I am or what I stand for, what I'm about. Yeah, I think that's why I just know I'll find success in whatever whatever I choose to do. Hopefully I take basketball a long way and hopefully it takes me a long way. Um, but even if it's not basketball, I think that just the ability to kind of stay true to who you are and, yeah, just go about your business in the right way. I think it pays dividends in the long run. I don't know. I don't want to go on too much longer but I think that that's probably the biggest thing that I take from this weekend would have loved to have a win obviously but anyone watching that's probably mm, the thing that I hope you take away from this is that just continue to be yourself don't let external circumstances change the way you go about your business and change who you inherently are Um, and good things will find their way uh, to you and good things will happen for you so obviously we're still struggling. We got to find a way to turn this around. We got a big week starting tomorrow with Louisville. But yeah, I I still do, I feel like we're close, and I'm not gonna I don't change my stance on that because of a loss to a good team on the road, you know. And so, uh, big week for us. Uh, we got to go get a couple, um, but I believe we will. And looking to carry this individual momentum uh, into Tuesday and then Saturday too. So. If y'all can't make it to the game tomorrow because of the snow, I understand. At least tune in on TV. The Conti Morgue will be in full effect. But we'll catch y'all there.
See you tomorrow. Peace.